Hi guys, uh, we are in Singapore uh, on the blockchain week and uh, I'm going to talk to Alexander Tkachenko, he's a CEO of NX VNX. VNX, VNX Exchange. So uh, the topic will be uh, security tokens, a uh, very popular topic in the recent uh, time and uh, everyone is talking about security tokens and your exchange, you're launching the exchange and uh, on your exchange is going to be possible to trade, to buy and sell uh, security tokens, right? Uh, hello, Dusan. Uh, we are actually sp not necessarily speaking about security tokens. We are speaking about the tokens that are representative of the v uh, venture capital and accelerator portfolios or potential exits from those portfolios. So it's more as asset-backed tokens or the tokens that are linked to the assets in the real world. Okay, so uh, you are going to be regulated exchange. What does it mean in compared to other exchanges that are trading utility tokens? Uh, utility tokens, um, these are like virtual currencies. Of course, they are different, different, uh, different uh, aspects of utility tokens. There are some who give access to the platform, those who can provide you certain benefits, or the pure cryptocurrencies. Um, but they do not necessarily have any material uh, representing them. In our particular case, these are tokens which are linked to a very, very uh, uh, particular asset class. In essence, they could be creating a certain asset class themselves. So these are the venture capital uh, fund portfolios or accelerator portfolios. And you're going to be regulated in which jurisdiction? We are planning, we, we have actually, we're, uh, we're located in Luxembourg, so we are planning to be regulated in Europe. Okay. Uh do you see, uh, I mean, now we have like several hundreds of utility token exchanges, right? How do you see the landscape like in the near future? Are uh, some of the utility token exchanges going to disappear and the new exchanges, security token exchanges will come and shape the landscape in the future? Um, there is always a rule of 80-20, so in uh, the traditional crypto exchanges, I, ha I heard some statistics that the, uh, really a large number, close to se uh, 7,000 uh, crypto exchanges, but the m bulk of the trading uh, is happening only on the 20, top 20 exchanges. So the change or, of the landscape is that there is going to be consolidation of it's quite apparent that there will be consolidation on the traditional crypto exchanges. And the next step is the uh, uh, exchanges that are linked to the uh, real assets. They are appearing, but it's quite early to say how the evolution will happen. We can see from the history that it will probably be a few hundred that will appear, and then uh, sooner or later it will consolidate to a few. You are not going to trade ut utility tokens at all, right? No, we're not planning. So uh, only like uh, security tokens or asset back, uh, digital assets as you call them, right? Yes. So our platform is uh, going to be fit for the digital assets, correct? How far are you with the development and uh, when do you expect to launch the, the exchange? Uh, it when you're dealing with digital assets, it's very important that the platform provides security to the investors, both from uh, the security of the digital assets as well as the regulatory compliance. We have uh, we are working on uh, uh, the license uh, procedure. We expect that third quarter or uh, within the third quarter of the next year, we will be regulatory compliant and uh, uh, start uh, operations then. All Although the limited test cases we plan to do early next year, 2019. Okay, so probably the biggest challenge of utility tokens exchanges uh, is liquidity. Uh, what about in your case? How are you going to face this challenge? Um, what we are working with is an asset class that already exists. So venture capital is already quite known and established asset class. What we're bringing there is a liquidity to this asset class. Therefore, we think that um, 
uh, as uh, comparing to the traditional crypto exchanges, we're really dealing with traditional fiat money. And here, our, um, uh, our job is really to bring them to the platform, which means regulation and security are very important for them. How big is a uh, venture capital market? to your opinion and what kind what percentage of this market is going to go digital um, the total the total market of course there are different statistics but we think that addressable market for us is about 1 trillion dollars uh, there are about 150 to 200 billion going into venture capital every year and of course then a certain amount is uh, locked up as uh, uh, always at the beginning it will be uh, first players who will be uh, coming to the platform only the very few who would be happy to to try it out and see but long liquidity is an inherent uh, issue of this asset class therefore we see as there is more statistics more um, uh, more kind of information on the possibilities to make money and the more user cases more and more uh, companies funds will be coming to our platform what are, just the last question so security utility tokens what do you think about utility tokens in the future is like uh, it's the game over for the utility tokens or they have like the rights to be there but not like in the beginning that there were just utility tokens in my personal opinion uh, the game is not over. Um, there is a certain kind of uh, s uh, pause at, at the moment. Last year uh, saw an explosion of utility tokens. Now it's really uh, for the industry to see how they're used. Uh, the first user cases will actually show um, the path forward. In my view, the game is for sure not over, but we really need to see how they're used, what benefits they bring, and it is quite possible that they will be back uh, on stage. Cool. And now I have the last question. So coming back to your rule 8020, uh, how what are you going to do in order that you're going to be in this 20? Run as fast as you can. This is what we're doing. Basically, you, you need to be developing uh, as fast as you can. You really need to bring the best people. You really need to work with, to try to work with the best in order to secure your space uh, among those 20. So you, you think that to be fast, uh, it's already providing you the liquidity because you're going to be the first one in the marketplace? Liquidity is a difficult question. I think for the liquidity, you really need to convince the people, A, that it's possible to make money, two, that it is safe and secure, and three, that this is regulatory compliant. There are different aspects for the investors, but if you're speaking about big traditional money, they really need to see those aspects in place. So you're gonna, this is going to be your job to do that? Indeed. That's the biggest job. I wish you good luck with your biggest job. <laughs> Thanks, Tosan. Thank you very much, Tosan. Thanks, guys. This was an interesting interview with Alexander Kachenko. And watch out for more interesting interviews. Bye-bye from Singapore. Ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye.